Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Oh, wow. Damn. Did he do it? Did he do it? Did, did, did. Never mind. Never mind. But as y'all can read up here, it says, did he sue for sexual assault by his former male? Yeah, you heard it. Male. Yeah, producer and videographer. Yeah, videographer. I had to slow that down, y'all. I didn't see that word. Never mind. Y'all know I can read now. Yeah, stop playing with me. But did he? Yeah. He done read another lawsuit and it's right here. Yeah, that way. So it looks like Diddy is facing yet another lawsuit after a former employee filed documents claiming that Diddy sexually assaulted him. Rodney Jones, a former producer and videographer for Diddy, accused, accuses the mogul of sexual harassment, drugging, and threatening him for more than a year. Oh, wow. The suit, which was filed in New York, Names other, including Justin Combs as a defendant. Ain't that his son, y'all? Yep, that way. The lawsuit alleges that Diddy forced Rodney to procure sex workers and pressured him to engage in unwelcome sex acts with them and others. Rodney, who also goes by Lil Rod, damn, what a name, huh? Yeah, claims that Diddy will often walk around naked in front of him. That ain't the first time I heard that. I think one of his bodyguards did the same. Never mind. And uh, alleges that Diddy forced him to watch a video involving Stevie J being intimate with another man. Damn, Stevie J. Stevie. That how you rocking? Shit. Okay. And he is reportedly seeking $30 million in damages. Whoa. He trying to get that Cassie money. Cassie done started something. Now we got the men coming out. This ain't looking good for P. Diddy or Diddy. Did he do it? Yeah, that way. And uh, also it says, since the news of the lawsuit, Diddy's lawyer, Sean Howley, has come forward to deny Rodney's claim. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday she tells tmz oh that's a she i didn't know I, okay sean okay never mind never mind i thought that was a ninja okay his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines she says that they have almost overwhelmingly indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies so yep they said they got proof y'all now i don't know we got to see the proof did he do it did he did it never mind never mind <laughs> well here's more of diddy lawyer yes about the almost overwhelming indisputable proof yeah situation and uh just the add-on our attempts to share this proof with mr jones attorney tyrone blackburn have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate actions against those who make them. Ooh, y'all think they're going to court with this? Or will Diddy spend another 30, yeah, out of his pocket? We got to see, because they were acting like they were going to court with Cassie now. Boy, Diddy, you better take this to court, because if you don't take this to court now, the men are coming. You got so many skeletons in your closet. They all going to come out. I'm coming out. Yeah, that way. Just like Stevie J. Oh, we're going to start calling Stevie J Stevie J, y'all. If this is true. You know what I'm saying? And Stevie J, you just caught a straight bullet. Yeah. But if it's true now, you know, yeah. I hope he hit you. <laughs> yeah, that way. <laughs> One second, y'all. Well, you know it won't be a party. Yeah, a Diddy party, that is, without 50 Cent coming through. Yep, so this is what 50 Cent posted on his IG. And uh, look at the bottom. It says, oh, shit, I'm on the floor dead. Somebody bring me back to life with the eyes looking. Boy, 50 Cent, no, he loves trolling Diddy. Yep, he was kicking him when he was up, and he's going to damn sure kick him when he's down, and he don't give a damn what y'all say. Because every day, yeah, he can't wait to some P. Diddy news come out. Yeah, I believe he coming with a series too. Surviving P. Diddy. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Yep, and uh, Little Rod, yeah, claims that Diddy was, yeah, touching his ear. 
his backside and groping his genitals. And um, that I already mentioned by Stevie J. Yeah, he forced him to watch a sex tape with Stevie J with another man. I said that. Oh, and uh, young Miami. Yeah, one of her cousins then came around. He said, and uh, yeah, uh, she sexually assaulted him too. Get that way. So now we got Stevie J getting pulled in. We got Young Miami due to a family member trying him. And um, his son too, Justin. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big freak fest. Let him tell it. But uh, let's go into who other than WAC 100 on Clubhouse talking about how he feels about the situation. But, you know, before I go, I'm going to tell you I use that thing between your eyebrows, though. It's called the mind, and a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And uh, while you use that mind to think, make sure you remind yourself that you are somebody. And uh, let me know in the comments how y'all think about this situation. I'm about to play WAC 100 in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Give me time. Give me time. But let me know how y'all think. And make sure y'all respectful in the comments. Because I curse a bitch out. Now I'm going out hard. The same way I came in. Oh, wow. Enjoy the content. The story via TMZ. He has just Sorry. been sued by a man claim, claiming a Mongol sexual assault on him. And legal doctor tamed by TMZ, Rodney Jones, a former producer and videographer for the Marvel, claims he was repeatedly sexually assaulted by Diddy and subject to unwanted advances by associates of Diddy at his direction. Jones claimed Diddy, amongst other things, would grope Jones' genitals and touch his anus. Jones goes on to allege Diddy would parade around naked in front of Jones. Jones believed Diddy was trying to groom him into having sex. He says Diddy would downplay the allegations, the alleged assaults as horseplay. Jones goes on to allege Diddy forced him to watch a video involving Stevie J having sex with another man. Jones included a screen grab of the video. There are more allegations, he says, the female cousin of Diddy's girlfriend, Young Miami, also sexually assaulted him, alleg allegedly attempted to have sex with him in front of Diddy and members of his staff. And there's more. Jones says Diddy brought prostitutes to his house in Miami. And on one occasion, Jones says he was present at the house and was drugged and properly. He also alleged at several parties, Diddy intentionally served women bottles of his tequila and vodka brands that were laced with drugs. Nah, oh, hell no. And lacing that alcohol with hey, drugs. Who, nah. Hey, who's Rambo on the stage with a B? That's my G homie. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. My question right. is, how a man right. touch your anus, whack? Like, I feel like you said touch your anus. I don't that means... know what kind of dude the Jones dude is, CL. Yeah? So now let's kind of like put into perspective, right? Now, I've been around a lot of these industry dudes, bro. Some of these dudes are just good at what they're good at, right? They're a guy that knows an engineer or you know how to make beats or whatever, and he's just a guy, right? Diddy, believe it or not, is a very aggressive dude. You know what I'm saying? He's a very aggressive dude. So you get a dude in here, and they in this secluded place, he likes to dim lights and all that shit, and the music is playing and shit, and Diddy sitting there on the side of him with his arms crossed, and Diddy just reach down there and just rub on the nigga nuts in his dick. Get a fuck. regular dude, a regular little L7 dude who's already kind of like intimidated by who he's with. It's like, and you know, you never know. Probably just gonna sit there he and might take even it. be a little that way, but he just ain't that way with him. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this hot ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's right? Crazy. Like, this is real shit, bro. Like, you know, okay. These. Catholic preachers and priests and shit the same way that boy be standing there and be like what I supposed to do 
some men are born, they go through boyhood into manhood, never having a confrontation, never having an argument, nothing. I know to us, that shit don't sound realistic, but nigga, believe it or not, in this world, is more people like that than like us. This is why they make prisons. They say niggas like us, you know, think about it, CL. If a motherfucker walk up on you, right, and punches you in the mouth and walks away and sits in the car on the bench, we ain't gonna let the nigga walk away. We try to kill him. You have some people that's gonna say, I'm going to stand here leaking and call the cops. And they're not gonna go nowhere near that dude. Those are the type of dudes that dude is preying on. But now, now, I don't know if y'all really caught. I don't know if y'all really caught what they said. Right? They said, Jones goes on to allege Diddy forced him to watch a video involving Stevie J having sex with a man. Jones included a screen grab of the video. Them people at TMZ was not going to put that in there unless they seen proof of that. Oh, damn. So y'all got to catch what y'all read. Oh, no, I caught that. And I, what I caught about that is it ties back into Benzino and what the transgender there said about go. Benzino and Stevie J. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. It's all connected. The transgender Ooh, said that Sean, I'll call the person Shauna because that's their name. Shauna was introduced. Benzino knew about Shauna through Stevie J. Stevie J is the one who put, put Benzino on to Shauna, the transgender. Now, I called Stevie J back in September when I first got that content that Benzino fucked his daughter. I called him and said, bro, you know the nigga, you know, the bitch say, here you go. I sent him that part of it. He ain't do shit. It's a good chance he may not say nothing. Right? He might not say nothing. Because maybe it's a whole bunch of shit dude could say. I don't know. He ain't say shit. But nigga, this nigga Puff is in trouble. Because more men finna come out. This finna lead to a lawsuit, bro. This finna lead to a lawsuit, bro. That nigga Puff is out of control in the 90s. Am I wrong for liking this? I want all these secret shit to come out. Get exposed. Exposed. Baby, come here. Mm-hmm. I just sent this to my boy. Look what he said. Wow. You see who I said it to? He better get on her line. Remember, he just told her. Yeah, but it says her cousin. Yeah, but... It's, it's gonna it's pull her. Too. It's gonna pull her, pull young Miami into it eventually. Niggas, you notice, know bro? You notice? Know Come on, bro. All the friends Puff have in the industry. Do you see one speaking up for him? Nobody speaking not up. Not one. Him. Nobody saying that. Niggas, hell no. Away they from that nigga, bro. They running from that nigga, boy. That nigga dangerous. Hey, hey, what did you see? What they said about um, Cuba Goodwin Jr. No, Cuba Goodwin. What they say about Cuba. That's Cuba. the homie. What they? What he do? Good. They, it, it's on the story. They said that uh, Didi introduced the dude to Cuba, and Cuba was like touching him, and him up, and all that shit. Oh, they say man. Cuba do it. say uh, he don't seem like that type of dude. But damn, I can't. <laughs> damn. Yeah. But he when all those him. guys course, got hit with the suit around the same back. time, wasn't he one of them? Yeah, it was like ten guys, industry niggas, who all got hit with the lawsuits around the time. We just hyper focused on Diddy because his was the biggest. Yeah, that's a fact, Danny. That's a fact. I believe his name was in that roll call. 
This is slowly but surely making Russell Simmons move to Bali seem a little question. No, we know why he went. We already know. Russell? Yep. And then keep in mind, too, we seen that interview that he did with Fab. Was it Drink Champs with Nori? It was some type of interview he did, but remember with Fab, he was all extra touchy, feely, and weird. To my daddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that was when he kept asking him, you know, why, when you gonna party with me and fail? Like I have party. No, no, no. When you gonna, gonna party? Party. I thought that was the dated kid. No, that, that Fab was the one he talking about the party party and you know when you gonna party with me? He, I have party with you. No, when we gonna party party? You don't have no party party. Yeah, so if that was his public interaction, like you know, kind of forcing himself and being weird in public like that on camera. I can only imagine what the nigga do in private. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, this type of shit, I don't post this type of shit on my Instagram, bro, because it ain't cool, bro. Shout out to Diddy, bro. I would never, ever do such a thing like that and disrespect this man, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, Oops. what you done did? You <laughs> this <laughs> <right here>. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I wouldn't do that, bro. Like I told you the other day, somebody been... It's been Zeno shit. I've been trying to delete that shit. I'm like, who the fuck put this shit up on my IG, bro? And somebody hacking my shit. I, ever since I gave Ruby access to my shit uh, two months ago, <laughs> all of a sudden, every now and then, periodically, shit get to going on. But nah, bro, <laughs> this shit right here is finna get bad. It's about to get bad, bro. How oh, many losses is that now? Danny? Man, four five. He is a victim of cancel. Uh, but yeah, if I'm not mistaken, tough. that's four. Yep. He paid out the girl Cassie. He got the lady in Detroit who we've been seeing pictures of. Mm. Seventeen. Somebody else came out. And the somebody, Jane Doe. The Jane Doe. And that, that's the is, one he's requesting to release her name. Yeah, and this is the fourth one. Yeah, he taking his Man. bad boy for life shit too serious. That <laughs> took it too far. Oh, nigga, I gotta go hashtag that bad boy for life. There you go. Bad boy for life. He that took it too far. Uh -huh. No, I, nah, I, ain't, I would never post no shit. Somebody been hacking my listen. shit. Would no Pat way. post my shit? That shit. Y'all gonna make that man kill hurt himself. I would never post no shit like that. Then Fuck they said they had young Miami fucking. Huh? What who matches? The guy he brought. Oh God. He, he, he put the lady in there. Yeah, but we want her to fill the shit out. Maybe we want to arrange a call her. I told her what we're using it for. That's my cousin. That's my family. So he does all the asking you questions in here. It's nasty work. Drooby, what you think gonna happen, bro? What, what you see? Uh, um, I think this gonna open the door to a lot of other motherfuckers getting exposed. Just like uh, Young Miami. You find out now she was fucking for Diddy. You know I mean? in, in accordance to what was read. Um, yeah, this is bad for him. You know, I don't... I don't How you did, though? I don't know if people gonna stop fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? No, like it's it's just crazy how you know this world work, but you know it will shine a light on who he is. So now when we see somebody with him, we know what type of person he is. You know. I yeah, thought it bro, said it okay, was Young Miami's cousin. Drooby, let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, when you say you don't know if people stop fucking with him, right? I just added a Leah. She got to do all that. This girl. What? Who? What? What is that? I wait to do it. Um, um, okay, the liquor gone. Okay. Right. Revolt gone. Right? Right. Um, the liquor was 50 million a year. That's four to a month. Mm. Revolt's gone, right? Probably was another ticket or two. Um, bad boy as a label, he did his own project, didn't do nothing. I don't think he has any signed artists over there. What what else is it to fuck with him on? His liquor, his TV, and music is already. Right, and man. then Hulu shot a whole motherfucking reality show him and his family and shelved it. Damn, damn. Shot it, shot, done, edited. Damn. So they willing to. 
put that to the side because of this nigga, you know what I'm saying? They shelved it. Damn. Just like they did the white dude. What's the white dude? What's that shit got to have the White House series on Netflix? They did them the same way. I told you to watch it. They got about five seasons. Mm-mm. It's a it's an actor. What's the name of that oh, shit? Oh, I forgot his damn name. I watched it. Too. Yeah, it's like a whole White House type yeah, thing. Yeah, Trump was in it and everything. But they, they this last season they shot it. Um, House of Cards. Uh, Ke- Kevin Spacey. Yeah. No, I'm nigga, they they really shot true. they. That shit was a success. The last season they shot and and shelf that shit. Damn, what he did for them to shelf it? Spacey had some allegations. Damn. Damn. So my question to you is, Ruby, what else they gonna fuck with him on? They didn't took his TV, liquor, and the music. He probably won't get his. He probably won't hit, get his deals from nothing commercial. You know what I'm saying? It'll be. You know, somebody looking for an opportunity that know he in a position where he really can't turn them down. You know what I mean? Won't be nobody Thank corporate. You do a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, like it won't be nobody corporate. You know what I mean? Or nobody with a major brand to whereas his reputation can jeopardize their brand. It'd probably be, you know, somebody look. You know, know he in a, a position, but could use. You know what I mean? Whatever influence he got left on. You know, I don't know how far that. That but does Diddy know how to play the back scenes? Can he oh. play that? Yeah, apparently he played well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with this, we talk about with business. Like, he ain't, you know, he... Yeah, remember, Big Diddy was a marketing genius. I agree. He definitely was. He making it hard what? That. Whack, you think he could sell revolt? Like, one his plays through people. Huh? Cause he ain't broke. No, but his 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 burn rate is crazy. Yeah, he definitely a liability. Yeah, he is big yeah, spender. You know what I'm saying? He be spending, spending. What nigga been on for a minute? Oh, did he own revolt? Out? He ain't own that shit out, right? Did he? I mean, think about it. Anything did he would have been doing, you'd have known about it. You yeah, know why yeah. we know Flobe got ownership of skyscrapers in New York? Cause he told us. You right, you right. Them niggas gonna tell you what they doing. They want you to know it as to they, you know, persona. I mean, I hope he is it. I mean, a lot of, see a lot of things that he's the face of, they pull him back. We gonna yeah, he ain't with Revolt no more. No, they made him step down. Mm. He's losing that shit so fast. I think he's going to come back from this, though. I think he can come back. Come back shit, in what lane? Yeah. Hell no. Hell no. In what lane? This is in whatever bad. lane he chooses. I think personally, nah. see, the issue he's having right now is people keep ripping the Band-Aid off of him. Like, our era forgets about shit in a few weeks. Like, no one really cares about the Cassie no, shit nah, anymore. It's about the, it ain't about us. It's about the people that have to do the business. If they going to risk tying him to their brand. Yeah, but I haven't seen any criminal charges pressed against him. I only see civil you know, suits. That's a, you don't need nothing but civil, nigga. Right, but I, I, I still feel like he can come back. Kevin Spacey that. had civil charges. The House of Cards was a big deal. They shelved the whole fucking season they filmed. Mm. 20, 30 million they spent shelved it. Fuck it. Because it's allegations. What was that nigga allegations? I bet it was some sexual shit. Watch it. it. Gotta be something crazy, cause man. Yeah, it it was a seventeen-year-old boy or something. Damn, Damn. God, damn. Self, (laughs) I'm gonna tell you. Self, that ASAP. Damn. Look, the actor who stood trial under his full name, Kevin Spacey Fowler was found not guilty of nine sexual offenses against four men in their 20s and 30s between 04 and 13. 
He had denied the charges, claiming allegations against him were madness, absolutely bullets, and a stab in the back. Right? But because of these, look, they found a nigga not guilty and still shut down on him. Over with. Real shit. Damn. Look, they cleared the nigga the shit, but it's always. So that's that's safe to say more than one person say you did it. You did. Um. Man, I don't even know, bro, because niggas be plotting these days, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You'll have a group of motherfuckers get together. I don't know, bro. These days, it's like. If the evidence is there and niggas got the content, then, you know, I go off of that. I done seen two, three motherfuckers get together, bro, and come up with, and that's what it was. They rolled that shit out. So I don't know. I'm going to go off what's in front of me. Hard facts. Straight up. Me, Drewby, and and, and, and and me, Drewby, and 305 and Lavish, right, could have all did a crime together. And if me, Drewby, and 305 get together and say, yo, Drewby, everything you did, we're going to say Lavish did it. That's what it's going to be. Oh, no, hell no. <laughs> no, what it's going to be. Whether you did it or not, nigga, they gonna believe that shit. We know everything that happened. Hey, Drewby, everything you did, we gonna say Lavish did it. And if me, 305, and Drewby collaborate the same story, your ass is out of here. You out of there. Well, I ain't doing no telling, so just make sure my book's good. Fuck it. All right, so what's gonna happen is, 20 years from now, when one of us get a soft heart and wanna go tell the people we lied, then they gonna let you go. Won't be me. I'm just right now. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. You gonna let me see it, bro? You gonna let me see it? Hey man, you already know we in A, hey, man. I got you, bro. <laughs> hey, you straight up. You straight it up, bro. Man, you like, sit it on these pictures all buff and swollen and shit. Oh, no. <laughs> See that thing in there. He know he's back. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that nigga 305, he a minister of a big church. Nigga Drewby over here, nigga. He charged <laughs> on the rap, on the rap sheet. <laughs> nigga, oh, hell, dog, nigga. Nah, we ain't trying to... <laughs> you good. You are comfortable. You passed that fact, period. Nigga, once a year, we have a rendezvous just to make sure we all remember the story. That's a <laughs> 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 hey man, we in the streets, right? You know what I'm saying? We know what time it is. <laughs> oh my! Oh shit! Hey, Y'all better listen because that's how the streets operate. I'm telling you that right now. That's a fact. I'm, I'm telling you that right now, dig. It's gonna get dig. I I can see it in the near future. Three, four niggas get together. Fuck that nigga. We gonna tell on that one nigga. That's it. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. That's it, nigga. That's <laughs> it. You niggas better wake up, boy. This shit get ugly. My better dragon said, send some cash out so he eat good like he eat every day. Yeah. Send some cash apps. What's your cash app? Dollar sign. I A M S U P A. K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around. Look. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's Turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Show some love for the bearded dragon. He's trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow. <laughs>